Act 2, The Truth Comes Out, Episode 4, Reincarnation's Crossing. Where do you wish to go? Prism Red reporting. I just finished surveying the surrounding area. And? What did you find? Apparently, everyone in this world sees Super Sage Mijual as some sort of hero. He and his lady friends supposedly restored this barren land, saving the people here from starvation. That guy saved these people? Nah, I, I don't buy it. Maybe we've been brought to Super Sage Mijul's world before he uh, lost his way. Another super reincarnation into the past? That does seem to be a real possibility. This is Serbi's past? Something really sad must have happened here. None of that matters. I don't know what the hell happened, but nothing's gonna make up for him hurting Biko. I'll never forgive him. Agreed! I too shan't forgive him. Bubby? Mr. Overlord? I know you're getting mad for Biko. But I still want to go back home with Bubby and Serby, so we can be a family again. Biko. <laughs> that rapscallion shall pay for trampling on this little angel's feelings! What is going on? Is it another god of destruction? No, I'm detecting multiple energy signals. It's a group of demons! I can feel their malevolence. Don't let your guard down, any of you! <sighs> what was up with those demons? Those wicked demons were trying to take the city. You're the lady from the statue! Hey! Where the hell is Cerberus? Spit it out already! Hmm? Cerberus? I believe he may be known as Mijual here. Oh? Are you friends of his? <laughs> Who the hell would be friends with a guy like that? Pardon me for the late introduction. I am Reliza. Thank you very much for saving our city. Unfortunately, Mijul is away at the moment. More of those demons will likely take advantage of his absence to attack. It isn't safe here. You must flee while you can. Nah, I think I'm gonna stick around and see what happens. Bobby? Are you curious about Serbi? No, it's not that. I just want to know why he'd betray you and me like that, Biko. <laughs> Isn't that an admission of curiosity? Shut up already!
Follow me, please. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Mijuel were love interests. <laughs> yes. We've traveled together for a long time, seeking to master the magical arts. We were only passing by this land, but after bringing life back to it, we ended up staying longer than intended. At some point, we began thinking of this peaceful place as home. Um, I hate to interrupt your tale, but would you mind telling me about this magical wand of transformation? Oh my! I made that for the children of the city. How did you come to possess it? <sighs> How do you undo the transformation? Please, tell me! I'm terribly sorry, but this was a failed creation. Once used, it's impossible to restore your former appearance. Therefore, I sealed it away in a safe location and even included a warning, just in case. That can't be! This was my only hope! Who cares about that? Anyway... I care! So, anyway, why is this place being attacked? What's going on here? Ah, yes. This peaceful place changed when an ancient ruin was unearthed. The DNA of a Majin who was said to have almost destroyed the entire universe was discovered within. Majin DNA? Rumors spread like wildfire, which drew the attention of the seven demon lords who seek to rule all netherworlds. Aware of the danger, Mijuel set off on his own, in order to find a way to prevent the DNA from being used. Speaking of which, isn't that the catalyst for creating a god of destruction? How awful! That means this is where it all began! Oh no! More demons are attacking! Bobby? I hear you. We just need to protect this lady. Let's go! Thank you very much, everyone. With Mijuel away, I never would have managed to defend this place on my own. Then why haven't you run away? Huh? If you stay here, you'll die. Just hurry up and go! I can't do that. You see, a great number of people who live here depend on me. Not only that, but the whole universe will be in danger if the Majin's DNA falls into the hands of those demons. You care more about other people's lives than your own? <laughs> You're one weird lady. But maybe that's precisely why Cerberus fell in love with her! Love? The power of love? What good is that? Oh, don't you know? The power of love is invincible! If that were true, we'd all have it easy. I don't need love to beat the god of destruction. I need power. While it may not make you invincible, the power of love is great. You just don't know what love is yet. I once... Shove it! I'm not interested in your stupid puppy love! Unfortunately, that isn't possible. 
One cannot change the past. Not even super reincarnation is that powerful. Are... are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies, fate won't change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. The god of destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. If we piece together all the things he has said, it isn't difficult to guess how this is going to turn out. Visual Super reincarnated countless times in order to change Reliza's fate. However, he came to the conclusion that he could not alter the course of the past, nor fate, and fell to despair. As a result, he decided to use the God of Destruction to destroy the entire universe. Poor Suvi. But if we manage to save Reliza here, we might be able to stop Prism Pop. Is it possible to do so? After countless attempts, not even a mage of Mijuel's caliber could achieve that. It surely won't be a simple task, but we can't afford to give up. That's what I've been saying. I'm sick of all this fake crap. I don't care if she is Cerberus's girlfriend. If this is what it comes down to, we're just gonna have to change fate ourselves. Where do you wish to go? I can't believe Mijuel would one day seek to destroy the entire universe. Well, believe it! He's caused me and my sister a buttload of suffering. Bobby! Don't be so mean! It's not her fault! Uh, uh, well... Yeah, maybe not, but... I'm sorry you two were dragged into this dreadful vortex of reincarnation. Don't worry, we're the Prism Rangers! We'll protect you, and change your fate! You'll see! But even if I survive here and now, it won't change the fact that I died in the dimension you originated from. No matter how hard one tries, the past is immutable. But... Prism Rangers! However, if my death could somehow be prevented, 
It may be possible to save this miserable soul. Save my soul? Cerberus! Who exactly are all of you? And why do you want to save my soul? What the hell? Don't you recognize us? How could I? I've never even seen you before. Oh? What is this all about? I understand. This is the Mishual who has been super reincarnating all alone after losing Reliza. What the hell are you talking about? It means that both Zed's and Mishual's super reincarnation paths have crossed. Could this be mere coincidence? So you've come here, have you? Damnable slaves of greed and harbingers of death! Mishua, are you from a timeline after I perished? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry, Mishua. This is all my fault. No, I'm the one at fault. I couldn't protect you, but this time will be different. This time I will save you. Cerberus kept super reincarnating to save someone important to him just like I did. Me and my rotten brain kept charging forward, but he gave up and chose a different path. That idiot! Now I've got to kick his ass twice! <laughs> 